Hey everyone, this is Jake, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another video of the counter side. And in this time, we are going to be talking about the word map and award branches and what kind of facility you should be building with the newer branches because they are quite important and they do give a different effects and they could affect your playstyle as well as overall reward you'll be getting when you finish those branch missions so we'll quickly get into what the concepts are and what i would think and say the basic end game tire setup that you would like to have it going and there are some tricks that you'll probably want to utilize and make it work so i reset my branches and my facility so it's, it took me quite a lot of bolts so don't do this i'm doing it for sake of you guys to show you guys what i'm building from the scratch and how would you would want to build this towards the end so first thing you will see when you go in your branch uh, there's a couple things options that you can go with but the very first one you see is branch manager office so what this does is gives more xp towards your branch so when you have more xp you get more facility points to build on more thing it goes up to 10 levels so i think you can if i if you look at my korean server one i will go through it step by step with you you can build up to 10 slots i believe so so far an english version i only have four but in korean version we're going to build from the scratch so and another thing that you want to make sure you build on as you level up is the face coordinates amplifier so what this does is you can kind of change as you want you can remove it and you can add it anytime you want what this does is increase the level of raid activity or the dive activity so if you think you're currently leveling up to they usually kind of scale pretty well with your word branch level so as you level up you should be kind of evenly able to clear these stages i believe sometimes maybe raid is a little bit harder if you have lower level friends and they can't really clear it then maybe you want to manage it and lower the raid but dive wise i think you can just always max this out and you should be able to clear it so we'll move on to the korean version right here so when we move on to Korean bridge and let's start building things. So the first thing, like I said, I'm going to do is I'm going to max out these uh, amplifiers so I can get the maximum. So now I get when I'm at the word level nine, I mean, it doesn't have to be word level nine. I think I forgot what the maximum level you have to be. But around when you max it out, you get up to 135 to 150 level raids. And then you get some, you know, nightmare difficulty raids. The next thing we're going to invest into is a step office. So step office is very, very important. And that's something you want to invest in. So we need a step office so we can build up the, the PR department. Yes, that's what it's called. So that means we can now build up the PR department. So what the PR department does is it increases your um, higher grade missions. So sometimes it says B rank or A rank or stuff like that. If you have this maxed out, you have a high, higher chance of getting higher grade missions. Yeah, the next thing we're gonna build is this little computer looking thing. So next thing we're gonna go build is a future strategy department. So what it does is duration minus 10 on the dispatch missions. So meaning that you have, you know, less time to wait until the you dispatch missions are done. Basically, I think when you max it out, it's like a 20%. So when you max it out, you get about I don't know, around 15, 18 minutes. I think it's up to 18 minutes off. And when you do hours, it's almost like hour and a half, more than hour and a half off because it's 20%. Because the eight hour missions, yeah, I think it's over. So you get like six hours and 20 something minutes. So yeah, that's what you get off. So that's pretty big as soon as you start investing into this. So I would say that is very good option to invest as well. And there's this thing in the middle. It's like a controller tower with the antenna on it. What it does is increase the odds of getting like like great success rates. Thing is, this might be really useful in early level as your squad is really, really low level. But I feel like it's not really worth it in the long run. Because as you can see, even without it, I was able to get 70% out of it. It is actually capped at 70%. Sometimes they're a buff. They give you like you are able to exceed the 70% cap because they are, there's going to be a buff that gives you more chance to like to get the great success out of the dispatch mission. So maybe around that time, maybe you can dismantle it and build it again to max it out or something. But I, I, honestly, I, I would just keep it at zero. And another thing you can think about investing on is this uh, CSE passive raider. So what this does is it increases the odds of the activity happening whenever you 
finish the dispatch missions. So meaning it could cause the dive portal or it could cause the raid activity to pop up. So you can do those and get the rewards. So building up this will cause the odds to happen more often. So I think this is pretty good. Here's the thing, um, when you're building on this thing, unless you want to build a certain facility, I mean, it's your play style as well. So if you're actually not a hardcore player, building those like a time reduction might not be the best ideal because you'll be, you know, not logging in every time the, your branch missions are done. I mean, I don't really keep a day for that as well. So sometimes I'm just wasting that uh, hours, uh, the minutes anyway. So like I could be, you know, investing to get the more ether or more credits or more books out of it instead of, you know, reducing time where I'm just literally wasting the potential of that. But so it's you really have to think about your gameplay style before you really follow just what I'm doing. Uh, you know, so it's up to you. There are some freedom, but there are some definitely important ones. Like I said, the higher chance of getting a higher tire mission or, you know, getting more rewards out of it if you want. The point I'm trying to say is it's really up to you how you want to design your facility. Like I said, if you don't have a lot of time to log in, uh, it's probably best to not touch the reduc uh, time reduction facility and just focus more on the reward side. So when you, whenever you log in, you get extra ether or books or credits instead. But overall, those are pretty much it. I think, um, as you can see, I have pretty much finished building up. Uh, you can add more dive, uh, raid activity if you want, but I don't think it's really worth it, honestly. Anyways, that's pretty much the short guide I have for you guys for the branch, faci uh, branch facility and what I have built on in my Korean server with you guys right here today. So if you follow this, I mean, like I said, I've been playing this game for a while and this exact method I've been going through and I've been getting a lot of resources back to it and I think it's pretty good. Um, but like I said, different play style comes to different pre preference. So if you want to give up more time less time reduction and get more ether or the inflammation book out of it but i think those facility would be probably better choice for you and honestly for me as well it's probably a better choice as well if i stick to those in the end where I probably have a less time to log into my server because i'll be playing other games as well and you know got other stuff to do but anyways that's pretty much it for me guys hope you uh thanks all for watching and i will see you guys next time with more video bye bye